Hey, Media Mail Gang, it is Katie. If you are new to my channel, my name is Katie. I run Katie Reads on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, all the things. I resell used books on Amazon, eBay, and Etsy. And I also write books, edit books, and I read books. So this whole channel is just nothing but books. Uh, if you're already subscribed to my channel, welcome back. Today is a what sold video on eBay for the month of October. Not a whole lot of media for this month. Actually, no media for this month. Uh, actually, it's going to be all books for the month of October. Um, and I'm going to, before I dive into it, give you guys a little bit of a spiel because I want to make sure I'm transparent. What I do with my What Sold videos is I share five, maybe seven items that I sold in the previous month. Now, I try to show you items that are over a certain average sales price, so it's kind of worth your time to look for those items or to purchase them. A lot of the items I get, a lot of my inventory is through free book pickup service. I go and I pick up books from people's homes, businesses, and other areas and other organizations that I partner with. I get a lot of free books. So I just want to emphasize that my bread and butter items are anywhere from eight to $12 sometimes with free media mail shipping because I have such a volume of it and I'm getting the inventory for free. So that's what's keeping my store bread and butter flowing. However, in these videos, I like to show items that are like 15-ish or more because if you're going out and purchasing them yourselves for one to $3 at your thrift store, I would never pay $3 for a book unless the you know, potential profit was really there. I do pay up sometimes, especially vintage and antiquarian, but anyways, I'm digressing. My point is I try to show you a little bit higher dollar items so you know what's kind of worth it if you're going to actually purchase this piece of inventory. So I just kind of want to put that out there and make sure that you guys understand that these bigger sales or these really nice sales that I'm showing you are, you know, kind of the handful sprinkled in. I also sell more than just books too. Like I will sell electronics, um, media, some clothing, toys. I'll sell anything that I can make a profit on. But I just want to put that out there because I think sometimes people have the expectation that I am selling $70 plus books all the time, all day, every single day. That's not necessarily the case. My range of sales on my store are anywhere from a $5 book sale to a $200 book sale or $300 book sale. Like my average sales price in my store as a whole, including all inventory items is around $22. So I just want to put that out there so you guys kind of understand how things work with my video and what I'm showing you. And I want to just be transparent that you guys don't think I am, you know, this <laughs> crushing it like crazy on eBay. You know, I'm just an average book nerd like some of you are, or maybe some of you are just looking for other products to sell in your store. And that's why you follow my channel. And it's so great. Or maybe this video isn't for you at all. Maybe you're a reader or a writer and this just kind of interest you what I decide to do as a hobby for my money. Um, and then as far as Amazon, I don't show any Amazon sales in these videos because two years ago when I started selling books, I wanted eBay content. That's where my passion is. That's where my heart is. I may transition to showing more Amazon content in the future, but it goes FBA anyways. So I don't really, I mean, I just get a paycheck. I do some repricing throughout the month, but I just get my direct deposit from Amazon. I don't really sit and look at every single sale that's hitting on Amazon. I just don't have the time for it. So I just want to put that out there for the new people coming to the channel and for people who have been watching me for a while. I just want you guys to understand what I'm showing in these videos, why I'm only showing a handful. And really, I just like doing month-end videos. It goes really smooth with my month-end balancing and everything like that. 
I probably will never get into weekly videos. It's just a lot of work and I'd rather show more fun content like sourcing and writing and reading on a weekly basis versus what sold videos. So now that I am done with my speech uh, with that, let's get into the sale, <laughs> the sales. So uh, Elvis, he has been doing so well for me this year. Uh, this book I picked up at an estate sale for a dollar. I sold it for $15. It was a best offer. I think I had it at about 25. Uh, it was a best offer and I did have free media mail shipping on it. So after it was a paperback book, kind of smaller, not very heavy. So after my cost of goods and shipping, I'm looking at about a $10 profit, um, nine or $10. I'm not a hundred percent sure what the fees ended up being for eBay. Um, so that's also how I kind of go over these videos. I give you an estimated uh, profit. I mean, you guys can kind of do the math. If you're already sellers, you understand the typical fee, the typical media mail charge, and then my cost of goods. You have an idea of where my numbers are at. I, I try to be pretty transparent about that. So this is a good bread and butter sale. I and The book was actually in really good condition, um, which made me really happy. And then this was a 1989 cover art edition um and so it was a remake edition because the original printing was 1987 so the printing history for this one is 1989 as well um and that's just something to kind of keep in mind uh, while it does say copyright 1987 it was a reprint of 1989 because peachtree publishers was the first publisher and then bantam publishers did the newer edition of it a couple of years later. So just something to keep in mind with your books when you are listing them to make sure that you're accurately describing them and showing the correct year. This was a free book pickup uh, from a local school that I work with and it was 40. Um, it was a mixture of hardcover and paperback. The uh, historical fiction series of Dear America and My America kind of mixed together and uh, there were some repeats so multiples of the same book i do indicate that in the description the buyer knew that uh, so anyways this ended up selling for 65 dollars. condition was acceptable these were x library um, went into all the details with that and they did pay shipping on this one i don't always offer free shipping when it's bundles like this because i'm going to have to end up using a bigger box um, and in some situations, it just makes more sense for me to have the price a little bit lower, especially when it's in a case like this, there's like multiples, the X library, they're kind of beat up. Um, there was, you know, writing inside cause these were kids books. And so kids, you know, beat up books. So anyways, I chose to put, uh, paid by the buyer shipping on this. I think that's why it took a little bit longer to sell. Um, but it did end up finally selling. And these are just some pictures that I took of the books to just kind of show the markings, the spines, all of them were, you know, they still had plenty of life left in these books. Um, they were just beat up and X library. So you have a lot of stickers and writing all over them and things like that. So the next sale was the Godfather. And I picked this up at the estate sale where there was free wine and nothing but books. It was the only estate sale I've ever been to that's been nothing but books. It was crazy. It was an awesome, awesome experience. And I'm going, I signed up for their newsletter because the gentleman that owned the home that passed away that they were doing the estate sale for had tons more books and so they were going to do an additional sale soon um you know i went back in august to this estate sale so i don't know what they consider soon <laughs> hopefully you know they do a sale soon um you know it's been a couple months now but this finally sold in october it is the 16th impression now something to keep in mind with the godfather books these are sought after however because right here it's the 1969 first edition that is awesome 
I had the dust jacket. Again, really awesome. But you can see here where it says 16th impression. If it was something lower, like fourth or fifth impression, we would be looking at a much nicer and bigger um, sales price for this book. I recommend you just go to eBay and search the Godfather first edition, first impression, and just look at the sales. And that will help give you an idea. Now, this being the 16th impression, it's just to the point where it's still kind of worth it to pick it up. So I picked this up for $2. That is also the reason that I did charge shipping on this because I didn't have enough. Um, if this was a free book, I probably wouldn't have charged shipping. So you kind of see how I navigate the shipping a little bit. I, sometimes I'm doing it. Sometimes I'm offering free. It just kind of depends on the situation, my cost of goods, the market, what other people, a lot of other people had this, this listed um, very few had free shipping. Maybe it could have sold faster, uh, because by the time I got it listed, it was probably early September because the estate sale was late August. So it took about a month, month and a few days, uh, to sell. So could have it sold faster if I had free, maybe, but I feel like sometimes I'm just splitting hairs when trying to justify when I use shipping or offer free shipping. It, it, for me, it just comes down to the profit that I need to make. So if I can at least pass through the shipping to make a decent profit on this book, then I will do that. And if I have to wait for it to sell for a little while, then so be it. Books in general are 30 day to 60 day sellers anyways. It's not like electronics or video games or things like that where they're selling super fast. In some cases, I have sold books within 24 hours. I have. It has happened. Um, I've sold an Elvis book. <laughs> Look at some of my older videos within 24 hours, but it's just not very common with books as a whole. I'm generalizing as a whole with that category. So anyways, this is how you can see the copyright date and know that it is a first edition. It's not a reprint, but it's a 16th impression, which means that while it is the first edition, this is the 16th time that this book and other books like it were were printed. So you have your first edition and then they print so many, let's say like 100 books. That's the first impression. And then they print another 100. That's the second impression. And, you know, it's just how often the book's been printed. And unfortunately, every publisher kind of words things differently, too. So that's fun. It's fun navigating book jargon, let me tell you. So anyways, $15. Uh, I did accept a best offer on this one. I had it listed at like 22. So I took a best offer for 15 and they paid uh, the media mail shipping. This book is pretty heavy. So um, that 445 was exactly what it would have costed to have it shipped out. Uh, next, this book came from a book unboxing, my very first book unboxing that I did with my friend FBA Dave. He gave me well, he sold me a large box of books uh, that are not quite at the sales price that he wants for eBay. He is primarily an Amazon seller. Um, he is pretty exclusively an Amazon seller. He's a bulk book seller, has a warehouse, has employees, all, all the things. And eBay, he will use for vintage, antiquarian, um, very rare books, signed books, um, but other than that, there are some books that they come across that are decent for eBay. It just doesn't fit into his business model. So instead he will sell them to eBay sellers like myself. Um, and so that box I purchased from him, him was $55 and I had, you know, 13 or 14 books in that lot, that first video. Um, so cost of goods on this. I want to estimate, if I do the math, cost of goods on this is probably 2 to $3, give or take. Um, and I did offer free media mail shipping on this. So this sold for $15.90. Uh, the book wasn't very heavy, so it was about $2, $2.89-ish, $2.90-ish to ship. Um, then fees, then my cost of goods. So profit on this one was about 8 bu 8 bucks, give or take. 
And then next is, again, for my friend Dave, uh, 1969 first edition, Colonel Burton C. Andrus. I was the Neumerberg jailer. <laughs> uh, I had this one listed at 30 and I took 25 and we had free media mail shipping on this one. Um, I have no context to this book. I have never heard of this book before. It had some writing inside. It didn't have a dust jacket, um, but it was in good shape. I mean, I listed it as good because it really was in, in very good shape, uh, especially not for having the dust jacket on it. But I really don't have any detail about this book. It's the first American edition. So that's what kind of made the value of this book a little bit higher than the other ones that uh, were listed out there because not all of them were first editions. Uh, and then this one took about the same amount of time as the previous one that I showed you guys. It took about a month to sell. So, And then finally, what I have to show you guys is the Mother's Encyclopedia. This is a four volume set from 1933. I purchased this a while ago at an estate sale. Like I want to say three, four, maybe plus months ago. Um, it's been a while. I've had this sitting for a while and I purchased that in a state sale for a dollar a piece. So this was $4. I did offer uh, free media mail shipping on this and I do get insurance on it just because of the price tag of it. Um, media mail shipping, you only, if it goes missing, they will only compensate you for the price that you paid for your shipping. There's no $50 insurance like you get with priority mail. So I did get some insurance on this. Um, so I took a best offer. I had it listed at 85 because it had been sitting for months. I took the best offer of 70. I have $4 into it. I wasn't going to get greeny and I, I just, I'm about cash flow, so I just want to make the sale and get moving. So this is kind of just an idea of, uh, you know, what it is. I mean, I guess pretty much it's like a parent's magazine, like an encyclopedia for moms. It's like, I don't know, whatever, but it's from 1933. <laughs> and apparently it's just like, you know, info about raising kids and probably similar to like a what to expect when you're expecting type of thing. but. Um, this was the whole set, and just to show you that really quick, this was the whole set, so A to Z. Um, it was just in beautiful condition, too. I think I listed this, oh, because it was Vintage Antiquarian. So Vintage Antiquarian, there's no condition in that category when you list on eBay, um, but I'm sure, yeah, overall good condition on the entire set. Yeah, so I, I did kind of mention that with the set because... I mean, look at that. They are just in great shape. There was barely any foxing on the pages, the outside pages, any of that. So very pretty, very, very pretty set. Um, at this estate sale, this person had a lot of very aesthetically pleasing books. <laughs> you know, the pretty books that you put on the bookshelf that not only make you look studious, but very, very um, rich and pretty as well. <laughs> So that is all I have, you guys, for this video of the sales that I made. And I hope that you got some value from it. I hope uh, it encourages you to look some things up when you're at thrift stores and the state sales and out and about looking for additional products to flip on eBay. So I will end this video and see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for stopping by.